Hello everyone, welcome back to my World of Tanks 60 guide. Today we are going to be talking about the Tex-12. Nanak comes after the ELC. And this tank here is the basis for the uh, most famous of the X-13. Um, this tank here was the basis for the AMX-13. Um, this tank here um, produced um, but, um, if any of you guys don't know about the AMX-13, um, the AMX-13, um, was, uh, produced, mass produced, um, uh, between the, um, between the years of, uh, 1950s to 1985. I, I know it was all the way up until now, but they started producing them in the 1950s, the AMX-13, and, uh, uh, they stopped making them. The AMX-13 basically looks like this tank. The uh, auto-loading is a little different on the scene. It sits higher and is a little bit more slow. It has sloping to it, I guess you would say, on the AMX-13. Um, but 13 fires really, really fast, guys. Uh, if they were to put this game on, it would be wonderful. I'm pretty sure that the AMX-13 would probably be a premium tank if they put were to put it in this game. And... Uh, I heard that uh, they are planning on putting a the premium. Uh, I heard, uh, not me. I heard on the PC version uh, here soon that the AMX they're going to be on the PC version. So that just tells you in perspective it'll be a tier seven light tank, the tier seven premium light tank. Um, but um, uh, this tank after you get out of the ELC AMX, um, this tank. Um, Loses horsepower to rate ratio, but you do it's all the way around, and you are a taller target, and you won't have as big of a gun. Um, you're only going to get a 75 millimeter on this gun, while on the ELC AMX you had a 90 millimeter gun. Um, but this tank for 10 radio. You can communicate with any tank on the battlefield in this tank. So you can play this tank as a light tank. Um, so that, is, that is great to know. But, um, you know, pros and cons of this tank. Yeah, it's a light tank. But it has an autoloader gun. It's an autoloading gun, osculating turret. Um, don't expect in this tank. Uh, can't really teach you guys how to play a light tank. A light tank skill, and with playing them, uh, you're either good at playing a light tank or you're not play out at playing as a light tank. Um, tips that I can is hide under if you see an and don't fire unless you have to. Special bonuses for spotting, guys. You don't have to be doing damage to get lights in your light tank. Um, because if you fire and you're hidden behind a bush, you're most likely to get detected and give away your position. So the best thing that I can tell you guys to do is just stay hidden for as long as possible. The thing with these French auto-loading light tanks, keep yourself healthy at the end of the battle. And once the end of the battle is starting to roll around, most tanks are all beat up. These tanks become very, very dangerous, guys. They have an auto-loading turret, auto-loading gun. They can fire off rounds really, really fast, and you can kill. Uh, you can kill t in like nine seconds, guys. So, um, they, just try and keep yourself healthy. Stay hidden, team. Find a good spot to spot. You know, you get spotted, move. You know, you don't have to be the one out there dealing damage. That's what your team is for. You're supposed to be spotting for your team. You're supposed to be, um, um, with that in mind, um, let's just talk about, uh, what to expect when you tank. You won't have to unlock any. This is the turret that you're going to get. It's tier 4. Um, now when you, um, uh, unlock this tank, uh, 75 millimeter guns. You're gonna get a choice between the 75 millimeter SA49 and the 75A50. Um, the uh, I would recommend the tiers 5 millimeter SA50. Um, you get to unlock five method. Um, so the uh, tier 6 AMX 12T 2E prototype. I think you start out with the uh, 
1E prototype prototype or something like that. here 10 radio in this tank which is amazing um, SCR 528F tier 10 radio that's the point like you get 600 hit points in this light tank uh, you will go up against tier 9s some tier 9s can uh, you run in front of a caught in front of a team he can one shot you so some of the tanks at tier 9 can tell all away with one shot so going up against the big boys now um, signal range 750 meters that is great to hear because when you're in the ELC AMX at tier 5 worst radio range out of all the light tanks this tank here makes up for it you can communicate with all tanks as well um, let's talk about the speed limit of this tank this tank can reach a healthy 60 kilometers per hour this tank can move it around the uh, battlefield and it can shift it can do that um, speed limit backwards 23 kilometers per hour pretty good um, let's talk about how much this tank uh, weighs um, 12.17 tons that's where it gets its name the AMX 12 for the AMX 12 ton um, load limit on this tank is 13.5 tons um, let's talk about the crew that you get in this tank. Uh, not very many crew members in this tank, guys. You're going to get three crew members in this tank. A gunner and a driver. Now, your commander is going to act as your radio operator and as your loader. And your gunner is also going to act as a loader. Um, um, really don't want to talk about hull armor, but I'll tell you guys the hull armor. Uh, just in case you guys want to know, uh, light tanks really don't have armor, but uh, on the front of the hull, 50 millimeters on the front, 20 millimeters on the side, 15 millimeters on the rear. Uh, front of the turret, uh, 40 millimeters on the front of the turret. There is some sloping to it. I have ricocheted shots in this tank. Don't know how. Uh, miraculous. Uh, there is some sloping to this turret. I'm pretty sure it came off of the turret. Um, 20 meters on the side, 20 millimeters on the rear. Um, now let's talk about the engine power of this tank. This tank only gets 250 horses, which gives it a power to rate ratio of 20.54 horsepower to ton ratio. Um, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, not bad either uh, for light tank. If you hear some of the other light tanks at this tier get a better horsepower to weight ratio. Um, but not a bad. I mean, you have a better horsepower ratio. Well, you have a better horsepower ratio than auto. But uh, get to other light tanks, uh, it, it's kind of a little bit of a downfall to some of the others. But it, it's up there. Um, the Trevi tank is 38 degrees per second. Um, I would have expected this to be a little bit better on a light tank. Excuse me, on a light tank. Uh. I was hoping for like maybe 40, but 2 degrees per second lower isn't that bad. That's pretty good. Uh, let's talk about the fire chance in this tank. Uh, fire chance is 20%. So it's about average, but uh, once again, you are a smart tank, small tank. Um, just to hit you, uh, that shell pretty much like covers like fire tank. So you know. Um, the one great thing about this tank, though, is I do believe the engine is in the back of this tank. It's the, the engine is not in the front anymore. So, um, the only reason why I say that is because of the air vents, the cooling vents right on the uh, back of the tank. I haven't really seen the specs of this tank, but I'm pretty sure that the engine is on the rear of this tank um, the turret let's talk about the turret you get a 380 meter view range that is also a huge boost up from the ELC AMX at tier 5 at that was another problem with the AMX one of the worst view ranges at its tier um, but this tank here gets 380 meter view range, which is pretty good because you're going to have to be able to spot tier 9s. And this tank is very capable of doing that with this turret. Um, and the turret traverses at 44 degrees per second, which is wonderful. Uh, you're going to targets fairly well. About the gun. 
Now this gun is a boost down. You don't get a 90 millimeter. It is a 75 millimeter. I expect to do about 35 uh, average damage to a tank with um, with both your armor piercing and your armor piercing composite rigid rounds. Um, now your high explosive rounds are going to be able to do 175 average damage and your explosive radius of 1.6 meter splash damage radius not very good so you miss your target you miss um let's talk about the penetration um this is what you're losing um when you get the 75 millimeter gun when you get the 75 to 90 millimeter on the elc amx uh, 144 millimeters of penetration um now that 144 millimeters of penetration um some tier 9 tanks um E7 or maybe the side. Uh, you're not going to pin them from the front. Um, 144 millimeter aren't in this tank. That's why I say this tank is um, more like a scout tank. You don't have the penetration. You don't have. You are a scout. You are a typical light tank in this tank. Um, now your armor piercing composite rigid rounds do get 202 millimeters of penetration, which is um, pretty good, but that still isn't good enough to penetrate an E75 from the front, guys. It's good enough to penetrate most other tanks from the front, but you're going to penetrate that lower glacius with 200 penetration with APCR. And your high explosive rounds, only 38 millimeters of penetration. Do not load high explosive rounds in this tank at all. It uh, will come of no good. Um... Not really going to talk about the shell price. The shells for this tank are very, very cheap, except for the APCR. They're, they're so, you know, it's around, it's less than, it's less than 4,000 silver, so that is good to know. Speed, though, I want to talk about the shell speed. Um, with your armor piercing and your high explosive rounds, your shells are going to travel at 1,000 meters per second. And your APCR is going to travel at 1,250 meters per second. So your project rate is the Around, you know, if you target more or less. Uh, let's talk about the rate of fire of this tank. Um, this is with 100% crew. Um, now with 100% crew, uh, your rate of fire is going to be about 5, 8 rounds per minute. That is good. Um, so, and your reload time is going to be 20 seconds. Uh, now you can get this reload time down with Brothers in Arms. and the Reload time is pretty dang good. Uh, um, and whenever I'm reloading my, whenever I'm reloading in this tank, it does not feel like 20 seconds. Uh, to be honest, you know, it feels more like 15. Uh, but uh, it reloads very. It seems like it reloads fairly quickly, guys. So, um, now the uh, clip size in this tank, as it says, this tank is an auto loader. You're gonna get six chamber. It's already loaded, so so um, the reload time between shots is going to be two point. Two two seconds. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, this tank can put off the rounds really really fast. Two point two two seconds. Uh, so you fire. Two seconds. Fire again. Two seconds. Fire again. Two seconds. Fire again. Now that uh, reload time can uh, dramatically get changed. You can't put a gun rammer in though. Uh, but uh, you can get that uh, between shots down. Uh, with like brothers in arms and other things. It, it ain't gonna change dramatically, but. Um, Hacker 36 meters, pretty pretty good. Um, now this is one of the downfalls of this in time. 2.5 second aim time. Uh, your aim time doesn't increase. It pretty much has the same aim time as an ELC AMX. You're gonna have to stop, aim, and fire. That's why I said this tank is. Now don't get me wrong. This tank can fire on the move. Don't forget it has 0.36 accuracy. So it doesn't have bad accuracy, guys. Uh, but uh, the aim time. If you want to make sure that you fully hit your target, the aim time is 2.5 seconds. Uh, let's talk about the gun elevation and uh, the gun depression. Uh, depression is only 4 degrees, guys. So this tank hardly has any gun depression at all. It's going to be hard for you to pop up over a hill, aim down on someone, and shoot them. No gun depression. Uh, gun elevation is 12 degrees. Um, now the ammo capacity in this tank is 30 rounds, so you're going to get some 30 rounds very, very quickly if you're not careful at what you're shooting at. And make sure that you're shooting at targets you know your shell is going to penetrate. 
Um, now let's talk about the camo values of this tank. This tank has great camo values, guys. Um, now this is without hiding in a bush or uh, behind any obstacles or anything. Um, the camo value in this tank while out in the open, while stationary, 17.5%. Now, since it is a light tank, while in motion, you retain that camo value, and it's also 17.5%. Um, but let's talk about your camo value when firing uh, out in the open. Uh, that camo value, uh, your camo value is only going to be 4.39%. So that's why I said you want to make sure that will not be able to spot if you fire this gun you will get detected now you can get those camo values up by adding camouflage net while you're stationary um adding actual camouflage to your tank that will improve your camo value dramatically guys i cannot tell you guys how much if you put camouflage and you have brothers and other skills and perks on your tank if you the camouflage skill or perk uh on this tank your camo values go through the roof, guys. Like, you can get your camo values up until, like, the 8th. Um, let's talk about the performance of this tank for the average player playing uh, battles in this tank. Uh, for the average player, your uh, accuracy of shooting this gun is only going to be 59.3%, guys. So that just tells you um, just what this tank is going to be able to do when firing on the move and stuff like that. Um, your win rate in this tank is only going to be a uh, 48%. Uh, damage dealt tank for the average player is going to be 6.4 damage dealt. And your kills per battle, not even 1.3. Um, like I said, um, don't expect to get kills in this tank, guys. Um, it only has a 75mm gun. You're only doing... You're only doing 135 hit points per shot. Now that's with six shells, so you can roughly do up to 700 low or high 600s, low 700 on if you high roll, low roll. I mean, I've high rolled 50. So I mean, but um. And guys, um, you guys, replays. Actually, I think I'm going to leave you guys three replays. Um, I will be um, commentating in. I may not comment. Um,
All right, everyone. Um, here we are on Pacific Island. This is an assault battle here. Um, now, this map can be very frustrating in a light tank. Um, it is Pacific Island is a very very constricted type of map. Um, not really a whole lot of room to move around, lots of obstacles in the way, hills, trees, water, and so forth. But with that said, there's also a lot of great hiding places. Um, so basically you have to use the obstructions to your advantage on this map. Um, now I realize that this is an assault and we are defending take a look at the map to see what I'm going to be dealing with um, so what I usually do on assault if I'm in a light tank I usually come over here and right here I test um, I haven't had the tank very long so I want to test um, what the tank was like trying to go up a hill um, because I hadn't played this tank really on this map and if I got myself in trouble I wanted to see what it was like going up steeper hills at a slower pace and as you can see there it really could not make it um, so I'm going to come over here to this spot I usually like to park right over here by this rock there we were we're, we're hitting this T69 I'm here I'm supporting my team um, I'm in this position because I feel like this is a good position for me to spot my team. I don't want to push up too far forward uh, now that we know where the enemy is. I mean, I'm not the only light tank on the team. Here I'm just blind firing shots. I saw that there were shots coming from the other way back there. I was hoping to get lucky and it was an AT. I was shooting at an AT8. Um, there's no way I'm going to pin this guy, so. Not from this distance, anyway. I can. But it's not going to be from this distance. Now, I realize we're getting flanked. And I drop down. And right here, you guys can see what this gun elevation is like. Uh, I, I move forward to get a better shot. This is the thing that you guys are going to have to deal with with auto loaders. I mean, I was barely down on a hill there. Someone took a f shot at me. Uh, ate my tracks. Do not know how that happened. Do not expect that to happen all the time, guys. Um, that was complete luck right there. And let me tell you what. But um, at this point here, I'm just thinking, all right. There, we're getting flanked around. I need to get myself into a position where I can keep these guys on this side lit up without me also getting spotted. Um, they are pushing hard on that side. Uh, I don't know if not very many people went over there or they just muscled us, but uh, it's pretty even match right now. I mean, we're winning 5-4, so uh, we're trading blow for blow here, so it, it's not that bad, really. Here, I'm firing. Um, I'm just more or less being a distraction here for this, uh, I believe it's Churchill 3. Um... I'm just trying to be like an annoying little bugger. I know that shot is never going to pin. Um, I'm just trying to get him to focus on me at this point. Um, I mean, if you guys have played World of Tanks a lot and you guys are having a tank like just constantly just shooting at you, boom, 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 even though they're not pinning you, um, they they are quite annoying. Uh, I mean, they feel annoying to me. I mean, you, you're getting tracked. They're just being annoying, really. I mean, even though they're not doing anything. And usually after a while, 
I like to get rid of those annoying people. So that's basically what I was trying to do. I was trying to be a nuisance, hoping that this Churchill 3 would focus fire on me. And here I go again. I'm going to try and be a nuisance. Um, I'm trying to find his tracks, though, but I really can't find them here. I realize I get spotted. I really didn't think he was going to shoot at me. Um... Um, but uh, my guess is that entire time that the Churchill 3 was there, I'm guessing that they couldn't see me, which they should have been able to see me. Um, although they might not have. Um, I mean, I really didn't move positions. I mean, and they were backing up, and then they decided to shoot at me, so uh, maybe they were just actually um, ignoring me. Uh, really don't feel like I'm a threat, so, um, but now I'm being a little bit more cautious here, um, as you can see, I do not have six cents on this tank yet, so the only way that I know I'm getting spotted in this tank is whenever they point their gun at me, and the little detection icon comes off, um, just remember that guys, whenever you're playing World of Tanks, that detection thing that pops up is not a spot indicator um what that means is that some that you have been spotted like you you could have been spotted for five minutes you wouldn't ever know um you just gotta be be smart about uh being known about being, being smart uh, now the only thing that's left is an is3 here um so i'm gonna basically try and uh, try and take him out here i make a mistake i ram his tank he puts a shot into me but uh, it's over for him now i got his ass it, it's time for a little bit of butt sex here and who's your daddy um but um back to the the the, the detection thing yeah um, you will not actually know if you're spotted unless you have the six cents perk that is the only way that you are going to know if you've been spotted. That detection thing that pops up is not your spot indicator. What that means is you've been spotted and now someone is pointing their gun at you. And see, the thing with Sixth Sense is it lets you know that you're spotted immediately. The detection system does not let you know that you've been spotted immediately. You could have been spotted for 10 seconds already and then someone decides they're going to point a gun at you now and now it's already done too late you can't get out of a spot where you've been spotted and then you get shot and the also bad thing about not having six cents is um, you're already spotted for a good second maybe two seconds you're already good to, you're, let's just put it this way you, you've already been spotted for a good one to three seconds before that detection thing is going to go off um, I mean, you've already done been spotted. Everyone are now going to point their guns at you. All right. So now here we are. This is from my live stream um, that I do on Twitch. Um. Uh, right now it's just me. Um. That's why the video looks kind of, uh, this is why the video looks kind of the way it does, guys. Um, I was having a bad day on Twitch that day. Um, I had to lower my computer settings. I had to lower my video resolution to like 800. Why? I don't know. But this is why it looks like this. Um, my computer kept lagging whenever I was streaming. Um, so this is why this video looks like this. Sorry for the bad quality on this one. Uh, I know usually I do have somewhat bad quality, but um, this is more more than usual. Um, now here, there's a light tank over here. Um, I'm trying to uh, hit him at this distance. Uh, once again, I hadn't been playing in this tank too long. Um, now here... Uh, Get bombarded <laughs> at the top of the screen. I, I got some guys wanting to join up with me. Uh, those are usually my streaming buddies. Whenever I stream, those, uh, as you saw on the top up there, um, you, those are my streaming buddies. Those are the guys I'm usually streaming with on Twitch. Um, now, um, now this here is. All these guys are being spotted up over here. Um, as you can see, I have my camo net, I have my binox on. 
Um, pretty good idea to use on this tank, uh, camo net binox. Um, you could even go, you could even skip the camo net and actually go for improved ventilation class, guys. Um, but, uh, like I was saying before, you, you basically want binox, gun laying drive. Uh, definite must for those two. Um, uh, not even necessarily Binox, um, probably Coated Optics. Coated Optics improve ventilation. And enhance. And enhance gun lane drive, but I mean, somewhere around in that combination of equipment will do you good. It all depends on how you're going to be playing your tank, really. But the gun lane drive is a must. Uh, whichever three set system you're going to use, the gun lane drive is a must on this. Uh, really time. Now, here we have an IS3. Now, that shows you what this tank can do. I'm hitting the side of this uh, IS3 turret here. That one there, I didn't fully aim in. This gun just reloads faster than this one came in. Um, now here, the, that IS-3 is all by himself, so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm, shaving, I'm saving the slash shell and I'm going to put it into the ass of this IS-3. I'm thinking I can kill him with this last shot, if I don't donk it. Now, um, uh, now they, they kill him. I did have to waste my shot. Now here, I am the Debating on whether or not what to do, uh, whether to reload. There's only two tanks left, so I decide I'm going to reload. Um, now here, uh, you know, I'm sitting in the cap. It's pretty much all over. The only thing they have left now is an AT-15. Er, yeah, an AT-15. Uh, I mean, I'm going to move up uh, to uh, try and help support. Um, moving in, I'm not really for sure which way he was pointing, um, but uh, they they take him out. His gun was pointed towards my way. Uh, but victory! And now, this is highway. This is following my live stream. This is with my buddies. I am just going to leave you guys with this replay. Um, the video does mess up. You guys can't hear what they're saying. I don't know why. Like I said, it was a bad day on Twitch that day. So the only person you're going to hear is me. But this is what these tanks can do with a platoon. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, big brother! Come here! Come here, big brother! Cat's getting messed up. I'm thinking about going kamikaze on this STB-1. He's almost dead. Hi, 
Oh, silver away! The bat chat's fucking that STB one up. <laughs> There's the IS seven. Come here, IS seven. Oh, T twenty eight Pardo. Finish <laughs> 